Hi, I'm Pat Carter, technical trainer for Clearview CCTV, a clearer choice. Clearview was brought into the industry as a product to solve a major problem that was going on. It's a high quality solution with the backing of a great company like IC Realtime. You have the ability of amazing support, amazing product management, and a product that can be integrated into many different home automation systems, and most importantly, never a license fee. We're going to go through the Phoenix NVR, which is a network video recorder specifically designed for IP camera systems. Some of the great features of it is, of course, that it has the ability to do four, or sorry, two four terabyte hard drives. It has the ability to do uh, multiple cameras that are ONVIF compliant, meaning that they're going to be compatible with existing systems that you may have in place. And most importantly, again, no license fees. So let's go ahead and go through this unit. This is exactly as if the consumer were taking it out of the box at home, and here's what they're going to encounter. First and foremost, they're going to notice in the very top of the box is a great instruction manual. This is going to take them step by step through everything that needs to be done to set the system up. This is going to cut down on your technical support calls greatly because literally this will tell them everything with beautiful color graphics of exactly what needs to be done. The next thing you're going to find are great stickers. Surveillance is designed to be a deterrent, and having these stickers in your front window of your property or your business is really going to make a big difference. Folks driving down the street are going to see that you have a surveillance system. Maybe the neighbors might have better stuff. The next thing you're going to find is a small container containing all of your cameras. This particular system is a four camera system, so it can, comes complete with two dome cameras. These are our IP73 cameras. Wrap them here. These are our IP73 cameras. These are great IR cameras. They are weather resistant. They can be put indoors or outdoors, as well as four bullet cameras. These are small covert bullet cameras. This is the uh, IP73, or sorry, the IP72. It is PoE, so you're going to be able to power these cameras over power over Ethernet. So essentially, all you have to do is plug these cameras in to the back of the NVR unit, and they will power up and provide you your video circuit. So for right now, I'm just going to open two of them, set the rest of them here. You're going to find the NVR recorder itself. So this is your network video recorder. This is the brains behind the operation. This is a small standalone unit. That's already comes pre-configured. The beauty of the Clearview product is that everything is thoroughly tested and configured before it leaves our factory. So everything is done for you. Essentially, all you're going to have to do is take the unit and plug it in. You'll notice the two drive bays in the front. In the back, you'll notice the power over Ethernet switch. These are these four connectors here. This is exactly where you're going to be plugging your cameras into. You'll also notice that this particular unit has two separate power supplies. There's one in the front, or sorry, there's one on the left side and one on the right side. The one on the right side is the power supply that actually powers up your power over Ethernet switch. The plugs can only go one way, so it's going to be very easy to get this connected. The other one is the power supply that powers up the unit itself. So this is very important that you make sure you don't plug them into the wrong spot, but physically there's no way to do that. The other thing you'll notice on the back is your video connections. There's an HDMI connection, which is where you would plug it into your television or video monitor. There's also a VGA connection, which is again designed to be plugged into your monitor. You'll also notice that these gray connections are for alarm contacts. Now, you don't necessarily have to do it to make the unit work, but there's a great functionality here where you can tie this system into your burglar alarm to use normally open or normally closed contacts, and it will give you a great opportunity to run, uh, tie into your alarm system. Let's go ahead and set this unit down for right now. Another thing you'll find in the box are these large spools of cable. This is Cat5 basic Ethernet cable, just like you would use on your computer system. These are specifically, there are four of them specifically for each camera. And again, they're already pre crept for you, so you don't even need any special tools to do the install. 
Again, because it's a four camera system, there are four cables. Last but not least is the accessory box. The accessory box contains all of the accessories you're going to need for the install. As we mentioned earlier, there are two power supplies. The first one is for your power over Ethernet. This is a standard DC power or standard power supply. There is also a power supply for the unit itself. Of course, with these connectors, you're going to have the power cables that go with them. And in every one, there's two power cables that go with the power supplies. Another thing you're going to notice in here is a mouse. One of the beautiful things about Clearview products is that it uses a standard Class A mouse. You don't need a proprietary special Clearview mouse in order to operate the system. Always great to have to navigate around as a standard mouse. As an installer, you may want to keep extras on your, on your truck as well because of the fact that every now and then an end user will lose these mice. So a standard mouse will work just fine. You'll also find an Ethernet cable. This would be used to connect your NVR to the network itself if you want to view it from the outside and we'll cover that in a different class. Additionally, there's a remote control. The remote control is a great tool to use to navigate around your screens. This can be used to change between a four camera view and a one camera view, or perhaps change to a multi camera screen. The unit can be configured with the remote control as well, although we don't really recommend it. It's much easier to do it with the mouse itself. You'll also find a really cool template. This template is used for the dome camera to mount it. You would use this as a basic template. You'd mark this on your wall where you're going to do your screws, and it really will make life a lot easier for you as you're doing your install. Last but not least is a great disk that has a copy of the instructions, as well as a link to a couple of different tools that you'll need online. So let's go ahead and move this down and get to the good stuff. Okay, now that we have the unit unboxed and all of our our garbage put to the side, we're going to go ahead and show how to plug the unit in directly. So again, here's your NVR. This is the Phoenix connection or the Phoenix NVR. Again, the settings in the back, all of my cameras are going to plug right into the power over Ethernet. My USB is going to plug into the USB port. I can plug my HDMI into the back. And now we're going to actually plug these in. So first thing I want to do is cover the power. Again, there are two power plugs and they will only fit one way. In fact, one of them is for the unit itself. The other one is for the PoE switch. So again, once I plug them back in, we're good to go. They will not interchange. I cannot plug the wrong one into the wrong port. I'm going to go ahead and plug my USB in for my mouse. And now that I have my units on, I'm going to go ahead and use a power strip. You may also use a battery backup if you like to plug the units into. Let's go ahead and plug it into my receptacle. And we are good to go. The power switch is located in the back of the unit at the very top. Once we power it up, we should see some Lincoln lights. Last but not least, let's go ahead and plug our monitor in. This is a standard HDMI. It can plug into a regular uh, television or PC monitor. And again, the HDMI will only go one place. Now you'll notice that when the unit first boots up, it does launch a wizard that will walk you through your setup. We're going to go ahead and skip that for right now and plug the cameras in. Now, in placement of the cameras, there's a lot of considerations you may want to think about. A lot of times, a camera is very, you're mainly looking to protect doors, entrances into the facility, but you may also want to consider like a waiting room for an office where you have a high probability of an incident. Surveillance can be used obviously for security, but can also be used to help safeguard you against problems like that. So connecting the cameras are very simple. We're basically going to plug the power over Ethernet port directly into the camera it's, or directly into the patch cable itself. And the other end of the patch cable is going to simply go to the camera. Now these cameras can certainly take a second or two to, to come up, but you'll notice again because the power is going through the unit itself, the unit will pop up. So let's go ahead and plug in the rest of the cameras at this point. Again, the patch cable plugs directly into the back of the unit, and the only place it can plug into at the camera level is through the connector.
Now, once all the cameras are connected, just wait for the screens to populate and then go ahead and adjust the cameras. Now, the cameras will autofocus once you get power to them and get them connected. But the only alignment you normally would need to do once you have the camera physically mounted is maybe adjusting the direction that it's pointing. And that can be done very simply with the hinges here. Now, the dome cameras are a ball configuration. So these can also be adjusted. Once you have them mounted, you can certainly adjust them at your leisure just by loosening the hinge and moving the ball around. And that concludes setting up the Phoenix NVR unit. Thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you at the next one.